In this video presentation, we will discuss about FMD the most economically important livestock viral disease in India and worldwide under the viral family P. Cornaveridae. Classification P. Cornaveridae family classified under the Baltimore Group 4. Some of the veterinary important viral diseases under this family are foot and mouth disease FMD under the genus Aphthivirus, swine vesicular disease under the genus Enterovirus, duck viral hepatitis under the genus Avihepatavirus, and avian encephalomyelitis under the genus Dremovirus. In this lecture, we will discuss in detail on FMD. Foot and mouth disease. The other names for this infection are aphthous fever, hoof and mouth disease, tiger heart disease and aphthosa. The disease is caused by the FMD virus of genus aphthivirus. Based on tissue tropism, this virus is having target towards the epithelial tissues, so they are termed as epitheliotropic virus. This infection causes a severe, acute, febrile, highly contagious viral disease of almost all cloven-hooved animals with significant economic impact. This infection is characterized by formation of vesicles, that is fluid-filled blisters, which subsequently erode to form ulcers in the mouth, nose, teats and feet region. This infection causes low mortality in adult animals. But in young animals, high mortality is noticed due to myocarditis. This infection is the most economically important livestock viral disease in India and worldwide. In India, Direct loss of rupees 20,000 crore per annum has been recorded, as per 2012 report. Here there is the list of losses due to FMD. The first comes the, significant drop in milk yield, which accounted for 80% loss, followed by reduction in meat and wool production, crippled agricultural draft power, abortion in pregnant animals, poor semen quality in bulls, increased mortality in calves, expenditure spent by the government of India on FMD control that is every six-month free vaccination program in all the Indian states, and treatment of infected animals. Host range. This virus causes disease in cattle, buffalo, sheep, and goat. And also pig and camel. But cattle and buffalo are highly susceptible followed by pigs for this infection. Here, the sheep and goat act as maintenance host. And the pig act as amplifier host for this virus. But this virus is refractory to horse. The table also shows the other types of vesicular diseases in animals and their host susceptibility, such as vesicular stomatitis under the Rhabdoviridae viral family, vesicular exanthema under the Colichiviridae and swine vesicular diseases under Picornaviridae. This infection also causes disease in wildlife species such as bison, deer, giraffe, antelope, and Indian elephant. History. In 1898, Leffler and Frosch, discovered the causative agent of FMD was filterable agent. This is the first animal virus to be identified. Previously in 1514, Frey Castorius, from Italy, described about the similar type of disease in cattle. Distribution. Africa, Asia, South America are endemic for this infection. But places like North and Central America, Australia, New Zealand, Greenland, Iceland, and Western Europe are listed as FMD-free regions. Virus morphology. The virus posses spherical capsid which is about 25 to 30 nanometer diameter, considered a smallest RNA virus, the virus does not possess envelope and spikes. The viral capsid is made up of four structural proteins, VP1, VP2, VP3 and VP4. Among this, VP1 is the immunodominant protein, which play a major role in the antigenicity. The picture depicting the electron microscopy of FMD virus which appears spherical and approximately 30 nanometer size. Genomic organization. The genome is single-stranded, monopartite and positive sense RNA. The genome length is 7.5 to 8.5 kilo base pair length. The 5' uTRN to VPG, and IRES, that is internal ribosome entry site, and the 3' uTRN to have poly, A, tail. Virus replication. The virus replicates in the cytoplasm, and the genome is infectious. Positive sense viral RNA are similar to mRNA and that can be immediately translated by the host cell. So the purified RNA of a positive sense virus can directly cause infection. Physical property. This viruses are sensitive at the pH less than 6 or at the pH more than 9, and also at the temperature more than 50 degrees Celsius. Chemical property. As we already discussed the virus does not possess lipid envelope, so they are resistant to lipid solvents such as ether and chloroform. Chemical disinfectants like 2% sodium hydroxide, 4% sodium carbonate and 0.2% citric acid are effective against this virus. 
There are seven antigenically different serotypes exist in FMD virus worldwide. Namely, O, A, C, Asia 1, South African Territories 1, SAT2 and SAT3. Within each serotype, many subtypes exist. As we already discussed, there are seven antigenically different serotypes exist in FMD virus worldwide. Among seven serotypes, in India, only FMD serotype O, A and Asia 1 are prevalent. Among three, FMD serotype O is predominantly circulating, that is approximately 90% in India. Source of infection. Infected animal act as the principal source of this virus. Transmission is through secretions and fecal, and by direct contact between animals. Incubation period. The incubation is on an average of 2 to 8 days from entry of virus. In pigs, the incubation period is as short as 1 to 3 days. And also we already discussed, pig can act as amplifier host for this virus. Pathogenesis. This virus is having many portal of entry, like through inhalation, through ingestion, through inoculation, through skin abrasions and through insemination with the FMD virus contaminated semen. Following entry, the virus do their primary replication at mucosal and lymphatic tissues of the pharynx, followed by viremia. And next their secondary replication at lymph nodes, mammary glands, epithelial cells of mouth, muzzle, teats, inner digital skin and coronary band. At these sites, it causes vesicle formation and subsequent pyrexia. There is also a hypothesis, which is not proved yet that, infected cattle following recovery, can act as convalescent carrier by carrying the virus in the pharyngeal region up to three and a half years. Clinical manifestation. So the vesicles formed, that is fluid-filled blisters, which subsequently erode to form ulcers in the mouth, and feet region. This leads to excessive salivation and lambness in animals. Apart from the previous manifestations, other signs such as fever, decreased feed intake, abortion in pregnant animal due to stress, drop in milk production will be observed. Myocarditis and death are noticed in calf due to necrosis of the cardiac muscle which give a tigroid heart appearance, which is a pathognomonic PM lesion observed in the calves in FMD infection. In FMD infection, there may also be endocrine damage which may lead to deleterious effects on testis, that in turn decreases the quality of semen overgrowth of hair, and lack of heat tolerance which may lead to excessive panting in cattle. The picture depicting the excessive salivation in cattle. The picture depicting the erosions on the tongue in cattle. Another picture showing the erosions on the tongue in cattle. The picture depicting the lesion at interdigital space between hooves and the cattle. Here some of the pictures like ruptured oral blister at upper left. Affected hoof in cattle at upper right. Lesions on tongue at lower left, and vesicle on the teat at lower right. And this picture depicting the tigroid appearance of heart, due to necrosis of the cardiac muscle, which is a pathognomonic PM lesion observed in the calves in FMD infection. In pig, large vesicles are observed in the snout and feet region. Severity of lesion in the foot region is more, which leads to lemness in animal. Here some of the pictures depicting the lesions in the pig's like detached hoof due to severe FMD at upper left. Blister on snout at upper right. Ruptured blisters on feet at lower left and affected snout at lower right. Diagnosis can be done in field level or in the laboratories. Field diagnosis. Based on the data of history of the infection, clinical symptoms and post-mortem findings. Next. Laboratory diagnosis. For lab diagnosis. Tongue and vesicular epithelium. Vesicular fluids are collected from live animal. In dead animal, pieces of cardiac muscle can be collected. For lab diagnosis. Sample has to be sent for diagnosis to International Center for Foot and Mouth Disease, ICFMD, Odisha. Or the samples can be referred to its AICRP network unit at the Department of Microbiology, Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Veterinary Education and Research, Pondicherry. The virus can be cultivated in lab by two ways. Number 1. Animal inoculation. Here, the mice is inoculated with the virus through intramuscular or intraperitoneal route. After inoculation and incubation, the degenerative changes in the cardiac muscles is observed. To study the FMD viral pathogenesis, guinea pigs are inoculated with the virus through foot pad, and observed for the lesion. These pictures depicts the foot pad of guinea pig. Here, the top picture is the uninoculated one, and showing no lesions on the both the feet. Following foot pad injection to one of the foot, after 24 to 48 hours incubation, primary lesion appears at the site of injection, which is shown in the bottom left picture. After 48 to 72 hours later, secondary lesion appears at the other foot where the virus is not injected, 
which is shown in bottom right picture. So the primary lesion is due to primary replication at the site of virus entry, and the secondary lesion is due to secondary replication following viremia. So this study helps to understand the FMD viral pathogenesis using guinea pig footpad virus inoculation. The second method of cultivation of this virus is cell culture system. Here, cell lines like BHK21 cells, that is baby hamster kidney cells, and IBRS2 cell lines can be used. These are some of the laboratory tests can be done for diagnosis of this infection. For antigen detection, sandwich ELISA. Complement fixation test. Reverse transcriptus PCR can be done. Treating the infected animal can be done by using mild disinfectant like 2% sodium hydroxide, 4% sodium carbonate or 0.2% citric acid and protecting the inflamed area by dressing. Antibiotics can also be used to prevent secondary bacterial infections. For prevention and control of this infection, control of livestock movement is one of the effective measures. In non-endemic countries, quarantine, slaughter and disinfection of infected premises are followed. But, endemic countries like India, vaccination is the best way to control this infection. So the effective measure to control FMD infection in endemic countries like India is, by vaccination. Before we discuss about the FMD vaccine, here we will have a brief overview on vaccine types. Traditional viral vaccine can be two types. Number 1. Attenuated vaccine. Attenuated vaccine confers both humoral immunity, that is antibody-mediated immunity, and cell-mediated immunity. So the host immune response lasts for longer period. And number 2. Inactivated vaccine. Inactivated vaccine confers only humoral immunity. So the host immune response lasts only for shorter period. In order to boost the immune response, inactivated vaccines are added with adjuvants, and repeated revaccination is done. FMD vaccine. In India, an activated trivalent vaccine for the serotype SO, A and Asia 1 is used. Inactivation of virus is done using the inactivating agent BEI that is binary ethylene This vaccine is added with adjuvants like, mineral oil, or aluminium hydroxide plus saponin. Vaccination schedule. The primary vaccination in the cattle and buffalo against FMD is done at fourth month of age, with the dose of 3 milliliters per animal, intramuscular at the midneck region. In order to maintain the protective immunity against FMD infection, revaccination is done, every six months. The illustration shows that the inactivated vaccine confers only humoral immunity. So the host immune response lasts only for shorter period with one vaccine. In order to boost their immune response, repeated revaccination is done, every six months, to maintain the animal in the protective zone, that is above the critical level. In sheep, goat and pigs, the primary vaccination is done at fourth month of age, with the dose of 1 to 2 milliliters per animal. In FMD outbreak situation, ring vaccination is followed. Here, following outbreak situation, vaccination is done for the animals around 5 mile radius, within 5 days. This type of ring vaccination program, indirectly provides protection to the other animals in the population. This is also confers one way of herd immunity to the susceptible population. With this we are coming to the end of FMD infection. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.